Sean, yep. uh, please please tell us about your recent podcast and what it was about. Um, the, the recent po uh, podcast I had was they want to know about uh, two projects I'm doing around LGBTQ plus and sex and relationship because a lot of people with learning disability like myself not getting the best information about sex, the, the, about not understanding our gender, issues about communication, attitudes, and people, do people with learning disability get comfortable with friends and relationships? And, and with LGBTQ plus project, uh, people don't even know if they don't they don't even know what right information about what gender they are. People praying on them, taking a fancy set on them. What they want to know about protection and um, issues around uh, with with the parents, the part staff. Then you're not gay, but you are. But attitudes like that, it is. We want to change all that. Because at the moment, people with learned disability are not getting the best deal in life, and we want to we want to change that change that better. Because myself, I'm bisexual. I came out when I was thirty eight, and if I had a best community, best information at the time, I would know my sex years before, but I didn't because I went to a special school and. Only thing they talk about is having babies. Nothing about transgender, being gay, being a lesbian, and being bisexual and non-binary. None of that. A lot, a lot of more in our LGBTQ project. A lot of people we learn to don't know about their sex and sex, and that's why I want to change that. Because uh, I can remember my when I went to school, uh, boarding school. Um, we took we had. Uh, sex education and we, and they were showing it on the film and everything mm -hmm. and then all the boys started laughing but the teacher says quiet this is serious stuff <laughs> David Oaks nobody took it serious it was like it was, it was, it was, it was like a cartoon it was like yeah. a cartoon and nobody took it serious and I like, think if if we could go back in time and change that and make it talk about all oh, different sex silences and issues about dropping being vulnerable, knowing, knowing about your gender, about detection, on top of it, I'm, I think people, the people now, it'd be better repaired to know who they really are. But then it could be better now. It'd be mm. better, but not very much. <laughs> What what was the your experience of like working with the BBC? It was very good because I thought they were very respectful. They want this. Uh, they will talk. They will uh, talk to me. They will do me like step by step, and they wanted me to explain uh, explain about my life. Be. Being bisexual and I'm, I'm having a learning disability, but I didn't feel like I would be impressed. I thought they were fairly supporting me, and, and it said you don't have to tell everything about yourself if you not want to. They, they had a lot of patience for me, and the gentleman who interviewed me was gay self. And I thought that was good. I thought that I thought I thought when they were asking me questions. It was not. It was not patronising. I thought it fairly equal. Uh, why do yeah. you think it is important people with a learn with learning disabilities to speak up in in the media? By the way, it, the media are important to get people with learning disability on TV because we need to break down barriers. We don't want people to feel sorry for us. We want people to treat us as an equal. We are human beings like you. We're not. We're not aliens. We want to be treated the same. We want to have a voice like everybody else, and we, we want the same time, same same lot of time like people out there to finish on on the on the media, not just ever so often. 
that need to change. A moment is not good enough. The moment uh, to feel, a moment to stay in the needle, to tick the box, that is not good enough. I'm yeah. getting them to feel sorry for us. We don't want people to feel sorry of. We don't want people to feel sorry for us. We want people to respect us and treat us as the same. There's too much in the way, you know, like pitying, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Bit, you know, yeah. that's what I call it, and that's we want something really positive about, I suppose, for people with learned disabilities in the media, don't we? We do like, like I know, how, I don't know, I, I don't know, you know, a, a lady called Stabber, I mean, she made yeah. a book on made possible, yeah, I'm, I'm in that. <laughs> Yeah. We need, more. We, need, we need to we need to promote that. So in that book, I talk about my life. It's working, working, living a parent, being a parent, being a granddad, getting an MBE. We need more of that on TV. Get people like us on TV and told us we live normal life, everybody else. We work, we have families, we got hobbies, we do and we do everything like everybody else do. But we don't want to be pity, we want to be respected. And, I'm, and, and, and that needs to change. I do agree with you, uh, sorry. I think we need more so to talk about that. For, final question is, I get frustrated that more people with a learning disabilities are not featured in the media and, right. and are not contacted for quotes more. Do you feel the same? I do, I, I do. It do, it do get me back up a lot. I do, I do feel like all the time they want photo. It do been happening there and then, but it's not. It but it, it's like that cup. It's more like it's more like a pity cup. I can pity the us, and I hate it. It did, it did meaning. We want to, we want to pop up for what, what about different topics? What affects in the community? Not to, oh, what is happening to you and things like that. You know, very pity talking this deep throat like I despise it. I really do. It's frustrating. We want to be treated the same like everybody else, not, not like the second class citizens. Or, or, I'm not good. It, 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 it get my back up and it get a lot of my friends back up too. We want to be treated as equal in the media like everybody else. Thanks, Sean, um, yeah, for, for, for this interview. It, it's great, and it's a long time no see, you know. Yeah, of, of course. Don't leave, don't leave it too long when we just we speak again. 